right, so let's get started. First, we'll notice that it comes in a pretty nice box. As soon as we open the box, first we see the scope itself. Um, here on the end, it'll come with your extended sunshade. It's packed very well, in my opinion. Have your owner's manual. A nice lens cloth. The scope will come wrapped in a plastic bag. And it also comes with a bikini style uh, lens cover. another one of these on another rifle um, and I absolutely love it it tracks very very well um, they all have a little bit of mush in the turret if you can see that I'll try and get in here for you so yeah it's got a little bit of mush there but it, it just the clicks are great So they, they all have a little bit of mush in the turrets. That kind of worried me at first, but um, I've had very good luck with my last two of these, so I went with a third one. This is the 4 to 16 by 44 first focal plane. Uh, this is also in MRAD versus MOA. I prefer the MRAD. That's just me. Um, Mills is a lot easier than MOA on the fly. Uh, just to be faster. Your adjustment is slightly more coarse compared to MOA. Um, MOA is going to be 0.25 MOA, which would be a quarter inch at 100 yards, versus uh, MRAD being uh, one-tenth MRAD per click, which would be 0.33 inch, roughly. So four clicks per inch at 100 yards for MOA, three clicks per inch with mills. Um, I prefer that just because it's faster um, and a lot easier to deal with tenths rather than fractions. Um, the power ring is a little tight, but not too bad. It's, it's like a good tight. Nice and smooth, no grit. Your parallax knob is tight as well, and it goes from 20 yards all the way up to infinity. We'll set it back at 50. Adjustable focus here on the front feels very smooth, feels very well built, um, and judging by my experiences in the past on a couple other rifles, um, I've had very good luck with these, and aside from the little bit of mush in the turret there, I, that's my only complaint about it. They hold zero well, they track well. I've never had a problem with any of mine. I've never had to send it back to Vortex for any reason, um, but I just wanted to do an unboxing video of the Diamondback Tactical First Focal Plane 4 to 16 by 44. This is the MRAD version. And I just wanted to share my experience and I wanted to show you what it looks like when it comes out of the box. So if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment and let me know what's on your mind. And just thanks for watching. Have a great day.